Hi, I'm Whitney Fung with the University of Florida IFAS Extension and in Indigent Healthcare. Welcome back for some tips on eating healthy. So today we're on tip number five, make half your plate fruits and vegetables. Now remember my plate. And my plate's really important because you have a very balanced, healthy diet and meal. And so throughout the day, we wanna be following something like this. Today we'll be focusing on half your plate fruits and vegetables. So eating more of that good, wholesome food, foods that are high in fiber and with lots of antioxidants and nutrients. So fruits and vegetables are great. Um, and we'll talk about some ideas on how to eat more of that and budget friendly tips as well. So each day we wanna get at least five servings of fruits and vegetables every single day if you can. So that makes two servings of fruit and three servings of vegetables. So your fruits could be a banana for lunch and maybe a cup of oranges for dinner or maybe even a cup of blueberries for breakfast and then a uh, apple for dinner. So there's different ways that you can incorporate your fruits throughout the day. For your vegetables, that could be the same thing as well. Whether it's broccoli, tomatoes, carrots, you wanna consume a rainbow of colors. And so we have different uh, things here today. Uh, we also wanted to talk about canned. So fresh, frozen, and canned are fine, and they do count as one of the five servings of fruits and vegetables. Now, this one is 100% fruit juice. So when you buy canned fruit, Sometimes you can stock them uh, and buy them when they're buy one, get one free, or maybe even on sale. So it tells you 100% fruit juice. That means you know that the liquid inside is 100% juice. The same goes for orange juice or whatever fruit juice you consume. That counts as a serving of fruit. So 100% fruit juice means it comes all from a fruit, and then if you can actually eat the whole fruit, even better because then you get the fiber and fiber is also very great for you. So when you consume frozen things, uh, so again, fresh, frozen, and canned are all servings of fruits and vegetables. For the frozen ones, try to consume the ones with maybe not butter sauce or just plain vegetables and that's good to go. The same thing for uh, canned vegetables and we'll talk a little bit more about that in the sodium tip. Uh, but Fresh, frozen, canned are all great, and don't forget to make half your plate fruits and vegetables. Now here we have a few tips and strategies uh, from Bethany Tate, who is a Kaiser University dietetic intern. Please share some ideas on how do you increase your fruits and vegetables. Thank you, Whitney. Yeah, you shared some great information about fruit and vegetable intake, but I know some people struggle with getting all of their servings in every day, so I'd like to share a few more tips mm -hmm. on how I like to get more fruits and vegetables in my diet. So one thing that you can do is after you get back from the grocery store, pack your fruits and vegetables in nice Tupperware containers so that they're ready to go. That way when you leave the house to go to work or go to school, you can just take these containers yeah. with you. Another thing that you can do is take fresh berries or cherries, maybe strawberries or blueberries, chop them up and put them on your breakfast cereal or oatmeal in the morning. Fresh fruit also makes a great dessert. The fruit cocktail you pointed out that's canned, if it's in 100% fruit juice, that's an excellent dessert choice that's lower in sugar than many other desserts out there and very delicious. My personal way, to favorite way, to get servings of fruits and vegetables in my diet is a smoothie in the morning. I like to add a kiwi, maybe some berries or cherries, banana, and some low-fat yogurt. Blend it all up in the smoothie, and that's a healthy way to start my day. Thank you very much, Bethany. Well, that's all we have today. We'll catch you next time. For more information on this tip or any of the other 10 tips to a great plate, visit ChooseMyPlate.gov.